So, every demon needs this on Project Slayers. But before I get into telling you what, if you are a demon, you should be using, let me just remind you that please subscribe. It really helps out a lot. We are currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Also, join the Discord down below in the description. There's currently two giveaways happening right now. By the time this video is up, they might have ended, but I should be doing some more over the next couple of weeks. So, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, at least, um, the, basically, it's the fans. The fans are probably the best weapon in the game as of right now. Uh, and that's for multiple reasons. Wardrums is OP. Uh, at the minute, I do 49 per M1. With Wardrums, I do 50-something. So, without Wardrums on, I do 49 per M1, as you can see. And with Wardrums, we do... If I can hit him. We do... What was that? 50-something? I didn't actually see my camera zoomed in pretty far. 58 per M1. So, I do a bonus 9 extra damage. Obviously, that can be higher depending on what armor you've got on. Uh, but that is what Wardrums does. It also increases your speed. It gives you a nice, nice speed boost. I think it gives you about 42% or something like that. It gives you a mad speed boost. And it also comes with War Tornado, which is a really, really OP move. At the minute for me, it's doing 33 per M1 without Wardrums activated. Just really OP. It's got massive AoE. Got pretty long range. The fans are some of the best weapons you can get especially as a demon because these are only available to demons so i know the update's been out for a while you might have been i don't know gotten a scythe gotten fans whatever if you went for fans over scythe then change your mind go for fans they are way better than scythe at least for pve for pvp uh, scythe is better but for pve uh, fans are better now, I know you probably already know how to get these. I've already made videos about how to get both Polar and Devourer fans. But just to end off this video, I'm going to show you how uh, you can get these fans for yourself. Uh, first off, you are going to need War fans. There's a 1% drop from Tier 5 chests only. Uh, and you need War fans to get Devourer or Polar fans. Uh, and then once you get the Devourer or Polar fan, then your War fans get taken away and they get exchanged for Devourer or Polar. Uh, go to the Devourer's jaw and follow me to get the Devourer fans. These are ones I have. Uh, I do have a video made. It's not public yet. I don't know when it'll be public. Uh, but I do have a video made to uh, quickly upgrade your fans uh, just to viral weapons. So there you go. 150,000 when and 10 or plus the polar fans. This is also where you upgrade it. So you just spawn over there and you just come over here to this guy at the blacksmith. That's how you get the devourer fans. And the polar fans are also right around this corner. If you know where Dome is, you know where he spawns. So this is where Domus spawns, he has been killed, he's still got 9 minutes left. Uh, but if you go right into this room here, you will get the polar fans. As you can see right here, for 150,000 ren and 10 ore. So it's quite expensive, but definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely go for fans over scythe if you were just starting out playing this game or whatever. Go for fans before you go for the scythe. Because they are just, they're just, just 10 times better, especially for PvE, which is the main thing I do in this game. Some people might PvP, which is also when the... Uh, the scythe would come in useful however whether you go polar or devourer that is really up to you a uh, polar uh, you need lilies to upgrade it and devourer you need kills to upgrade it i would recommend going devourer in my opinion it's easier to upgrade uh, however the drop you need uh, it seems to be rarer for me but that's different for everyone i guess but yeah, that's this, just this quick little video of how to get these fans uh, just th th that you should get these fans i've already made videos of how to get them i'm just letting you all know that you should uh, this game has been made so much easier with them they have a much higher m1 scaling than um, than fists so uh, if i just go and find an npc real quick okay so both my fist and my war fans is at max mastery my fists do 37 per m1 and the fans do uh, 49 per m1 as you saw before let's just go and double check that there you go, see, 49 per M1 uh, instead of the 36. I've already forgotten what it was, so I think it's 46 or 36 even. 37, okay, never mind, 37. 37 per M1 with the fists and 49 with the war fans, which is an increase of what, 13? Uh, but yeah, that is an increase of 13 and my fans are at max mastery, which is a massive, massive increase of damage. If we go and equip a uh, scythe, uh, we'll go and equip the polar scythe. This scythe does 42 per M1, so it also has a higher M1 scaling than the Ashley. My scythe is only 150 mastery, so it's not maxed out. So you can probably take that into consideration. Uh, this gives... I don't know how much weapon bonus this gives. The metal scythe, which is used to the polar scythe, is a plus 2, so it'll be around there. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Just get the fans. Get the fans over the scythe. I would definitely recommend it. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Join the Discord down below in the description. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.